think uh, you know EJ Manuel is uh, you know asked to do something uh, very special for for the team. Uh, Christian Pinter has been the leader and has uh, handled himself very well and uh, really got us to several wins. But I think uh, EJ has the moxie, he has the ability, and I think he has the players around him to be successful. And I think our team will, will continue to do well uh, with his leadership. I, I look forward to uh, seeing how the players react with him there and, uh, you know, as they go on throughout the season. Well, so far, so good for E.J. Manuel and the Florida State Seminoles. Myron, thank you so much for your time, and, and good luck with everything, uh, the schoolwork and, and your future football career. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. And go knows. <laughs> He's watching on his computer across the pond today, and it's another first down run here for Jermaine Thomas as Kyle Quarles, the strong safety, finally knocks him down, but another 10-yard pickup for Florida State. I, I can see some multitasking taking taking place. The tomahawk chop coming down. Uh, you have a you know a green quarterback coming in. They want pressure and disguise things, but what takes away all that? It's when able to run the football and control the down and distance, and then it opens up the whole playbook for Jimbo Fisher. First down and ten for Florida State. Will play fake again. Manuel throws it out to the near side, caught by Burt Reed, quickly covered up. Good pursuit there by the Wake defense. Reed allowed to get just one. Jonathan Jones, the first one there. He's the strong side linebacker. Jones, uh, very steady, one of the 22 seniors playing his final home game today for Wake. He got the start today as a reward for a great career. God, what a senior class. You really have to tip your hat to these guys. They've been a part of a big turnaround at Wake Forest in football. And one more win away from becoming the, the winningest senior class ever in the history of Wake. Second down and nine. Manuel wants to throw. He's eight of ten so far today. Another completion. Caught at the 29. And bringing this one in, Rodney Smith. A gain of six. Michael Williams on the tackle. Bring up third down and three. the uh, winning as senior classes in the history of Wake Forest football and they've come in the last three years. What a great group of kids. Almost intercepted as Rodney Smith juggled it and was left in midair momentarily. And Kenny Okoro got just a piece of it. So now fourth down. See the ball come out of his hands, and boy, that ball's in the air. That's when turnovers happen. And those are things that have usually fallen Wake's way. Not this season, though. 47-yard field goal attempt for Dustin Hopkins. And it's good. Earlier this season, he had a long of 52. That one good from 47. And Florida State has scored on every possession so far today. This time they come up with three. It's 24 7 Knowles. So now Shane Popham comes back out to punt, standing at his own 11 yard line. A great start for Wake Forest, but the last three drives, a couple of punts and an interception. Here's Greg Reed from the 32. He'll start his return. Nice move, finds a seam up the middle. One man to beat, and it's the kicker. Reed to the end zone, touchdown. A 68-yard punt return for Greg Reed. Greg Reed, what can you say about the freshman? You talk about big playability, a guy that loves the pressure and thrives in the limelight. This young freshman is exactly that kind of player. A dynamic returner, big plays on defense. Hopkins bangs home the extra point. 
First touchdown this season for Greg Reed in the return game. That is a 